you around. Oh, that's a bit close. Let me just zoom it out a bit more. But not so much. Oh, here we go. The dance of the zoom. I would love to be able to get the hang of this. I really would. But it's not going to happen. Right, let's have a look where we're at to. As far as desks are concerned. Oh, quite. I'm quite zoomed in, aren't we? Let's see if I can zoom out without revealing the whole desk. Is that any better? Maybe it is, I don't know. Ah. Oh, now we're very zoomed in, aren't we? Oh, every week, every week I have this problem. Bear with while I just, that's a bit better. I think we'll go with that. Apologise for the shaking. So where are we? We're about there. Okay, let me just move this in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Right, I don't have my microphone today. So I'm just going to have to talk at this pace and hopefully you can hear me all. Oh, this is not pace, you know what I mean? Volume. That's the word I'm looking for. Volume. Right. Let's have a look. Who have we got? Hi, Suze. Hi, Sally Jo. Hi, Valerie. Hello, 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 Yvonne. Hi. Who else we got? Kerry. Hello, hello. Right. Yes, we'll wait for a few more to join. You can hear me. Good. That's all right. My husband isn't in at the moment, so I haven't got to worry about waking him up only my son but he's only just gone to bed so there we go um right so hello debbie from texas wow what's it like in texas has it been warm today it's been quite chilly here for july hot 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 in minnesota okay cool you know it's quite chilly here so uh hi sandra um hello oh yes you can i've said hello to you hello everyone anyway <laughs> You're looking forward to the live. Good, I'm glad. Good, good, good. I had a frantic few days trying to film a whole load of videos. A whole load. I've got a ton load of videos now to edit and upload. Ah, chilly, but the sun is out in New Zealand. That's good. Fantastic. I mean, not that it's chilly, but good that the sun's out. Yeah, it's been a bit of a weird day today. Has the sun been out today? I don't even know. I can't even remember. I'm just tired. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if it has or not. I'll quickly flick through these while people are joining. So as you've probably already seen on uh, YouTube Shorts and also on Instagram, I've put the new, and obviously in the Etsy shop, the new pack, Burgundy Blossom, sort of a bit autumnal. Not completely autumnal, but a bit a bit autumnal. Um, yeah, but I quite like them. Sort of burgundy colours, dusky pinks, lilacs. Um, this is true, Suze. Yeah, you, it's winter for you, isn't it? So it's summer for us and it's freezing over here. My craft room is absolutely freezing um you've seen i've chopped bits up because i'm using them on my card so yeah we've got a mix of different florals all burgundy-ish sorry about the glare but you can see it on the youtube shorts video so i'm um, just sort of giving you a quick flick while we wait for people to join us um we've got this little kind of daisy kind of pattern in a couple of different colors and then i've went for the dark as well that floral again i love that floral and then we've got a speckled version of that dark one from earlier and then this one, and that's the last one. So that's the pack we're going to be using today. Now, I thought, you can't see this one. You can't really see this one on the on the video. If I do that, you might be able to see it better. But if you go over to look at the short video, you'll um, on the shorts video, you'll be able to see it a lot better, hopefully. Um, no, you can't really see it. Yeah, you sort of can. Okay, right, let me just change my um, quality again. Oh, and also let me switch my phone on to do not disturb because it's making brr, brr noises because people are oh it's telling me about my printer which should have arrived today and hasn't so that's nice so yeah right there we go so hopefully you won't get disturbed now um and then i just need to change my thingy bob right where are we up to uh liz thank you liz shelly don't worry you're not really late i've just started hi christine you're traveling in the middle of australia but warm okay good at least it's warm hi sally good to see you good to see you right i'm going to put my papers away they're the papers we're using today if you missed it if you just come then those papers are on my shorts video so i've got a shorts video for them put them down there in case i need any of them i've got all my little bits all ready to go look at me all organized well <laughs> sort of organized i've gone for a relatively simple card this evening because it's late 
<laughs> I don't want it to go on too long and so I thought we'd go relatively simple. Apologies for the glare, it's because obviously my ring light is on so I can see what's happening. Um, oh, let's put these. This mirror card is actually the mirror card that I got from that charity shop. I was going to do a, well I still got a video to go up about that charity shop haul because you only saw the little Instagram reel but um, I'm going to be doing a, a haul video at some point. Whether they'll how much they'll have left in, I don't know. I mean, the purpose of me doing the whole video was really so that if you lived in the area, then you could um, go down there. But anyway, I think they are getting some more next week. So, yeah, there should still be some there. Right. I think we will make a start. Yeah, we may as well. Let's make a start. Right, let's move my bits out of the way. Oh. It's been a busy day today because I'm packing because I'm off to Norwich. So Kerry, I'm coming your way tomorrow. I'm coming to Norwich. So um, yeah, it's been a busy day. Packing and getting ready. Right. Okay. Are we all ready? We'll make a start. So you are going to need, let me show you the card first. <laughs> Tell telling you what you need, don't you know what you're making. So we're going to do a card that Jan B made, and I do believe it was her original card. So we're going to give credit to Jan B. I do love Jan B. She makes some fantastic cards. Her and I are on the same kind of wavelength when it comes to folds. Um, and we've kind of cased each other's folds over the over the years. So, yes, this is one of hers. So this is called a floating screen card. and I'm doing it in a six by six side. <laughs> yeah, Kerry, I might well do, you know, I might well do. So um, this is a six by six, so that's what it looks like, and you open it up, and then this then opens up, and that's where you've got space to write, and it stands on your um, desk like that, basically. So, um, yeah, so that's the, and then obviously if you wanted to, you've got space on the back. The trick of this really is you don't want to use flimsy card. This one's quite, um, yeah, it's. I think it was too, probably, mm, 18 maybe 300 even maybe i don't know what card, i don't know what card this is but by the time you've put all your layers on here that makes it quite strong and by the time you've got the fold there as well that makes it quite strong this die here is one of the new ones from coca rosa studio um and if you use my code obviously iced 20 you will get 20 percent off i really like this die i think it's really nice really pretty um, and I liked it anyway, but then when I cut it out, I was like, oh, I like it even more now. Um, yes, it's nice, isn't it? And then these papers are coming soon. These are part of one of the packs that is coming soon. Uh, this was going to be the next pack, actually, that I launched. However, last week I had a request for autumnally type, fall type things. So, yeah, but, but today we're going to be using the new pack, the Burgundy Blossoms pack. So yeah, this die, I don't think you, I don't know where, if you can get it. I think I got this from AliExpress, I think. I think it was AliExpress. Um, so yeah, but it's a, I, I do like that die. It's a very good die. Um, but yeah, so that's the card we're going to do today. So nice and easy. Um, under a pile of papers, I like that YouTube, YouTube name. That is a fantastic name. Good evening um Suze you like the paper on the rectangular pieces yeah this one here yeah this is going to be so this will be the pack that I'm going to I'm going to launch this next week I think it's another Christmas pack so I think I'm going to do this next week um while I'm away I'm going to take my laptop with me and I'm hoping to come up with some more packs because I'm kind of a bit behind on packs I've got quite a lot of um images ready to be used I just need to turn them into actual papers but I'm also waiting for my printer because my replacement printer doesn't work so yeah so i'm waiting for a printer to be delivered it should have been delivered today before between 11 and 2 that changed to 2 till 20 to 6 and then it said by the end of the day which for them is seven o'clock so that as time has passed and i still haven't received my printer so it's going to come tomorrow hopefully before i leave for norwich but anyway we'll see um so you like the paper on the rectangular pieces? Yeah, this is this is a die. So this is Miri card cut out using a die, and then I've mounted it onto the red, the red um, what's it called? Mac card. Um, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, Valerie, I miss Jan B's videos as well. Apparently she's still on Crafter's Companion or 
she's still on some crafting TV somewhere or other. But I do miss her videos. I loved her videos. I really did. I love the way she explained things. I love the things she come up with. I miss her videos a lot. So anyway, so that's the one we're going to do today. So let me move that to one side. So you're going to need one piece of base card that is four by eight. And all we're going to do with this one is score it in the middle at four inches and make ourselves a little four by four card. Oh, this one's not four by eight. <laughs> oh, that I've scored it wrong. No, it's not eight inches long. Oh, there's me thinking I was organised and I wasn't. I'd obviously not measured properly. Let me just cut this down to be eight inches. There we go. Eight inches. Right, so one piece is four by eight, and you're going to score it halfway. If you've got a four by four card, just use that. Um, and you want it top folding. Okay, and then you want two pieces of base card that are um, four by six. And along the four inch edge, you're going to score at two inches. And you're going to do that on both of them. So you end up with that. And then I've still got bits of from where I cut that screen out, that green foliage. I'll just show you on that card. I've still got bits of that on my desk. Right. So you end up with with that. So then we want to do is go ahead and fold and burnish. We're going super easy. We will need the scoreboard again in a minute, just because it's helpful for lining things up when we're sticking things down. Hi, Judy in Oz. Good to see. Good to see you. Right, and then you want to turn your two pieces so they face each other, so they open up like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and decorate first before we uh, stick it all together. So, to decorate, I normally decorate, well, the one I just did, I decorated inside, so that's four pieces, and then just the front two pieces. If you want to decorate the back as well, you can, but I'm just doing that. So, you need six pieces of mat. That are one and three quarter by five and three quarter and six pattern pieces that are one and a half by five and a half. OK, so I'm going to go ahead now and stick these pattern pieces on to these mat pieces. I didn't do that in advance. So this is my charity shop rose gold car, which I've discovered is slightly more of a rose, well, sort of an orangey rose goldy colour than my normal rose gold. My rose gold card that I've got at the moment the mirror is quite pale compared to this, um, which is fine. I quite like this. The depth of colour is quite nice. So, yeah. So, how's everyone's week been so far? Anybody got any plans? Anybody been doing any crafting or bought anything nice? Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me what you've been doing. Um, let's get these stuck down. Oh, I'm ready for my bed. I didn't get to bed till half one in the morning yesterday because I was doing work. Because at the moment I'm trying to squeeze five hours, of, five days of work into the odd hour here and there. Whatever time I can, I grab and I try and do work in it. And so that means that I'm up till goodness knows what time in the morning. So yeah. And then tomorrow we've got to get up relatively early because we're driving to Norwich. The joys, the joys. So yeah, um, Kerry, are there any good craft shops in Norwich that I need to visit? I know there's a hobby craft in the centre. It used to be near the Nando's, didn't it? And the um, yeah, is there not? Is there Morrison's there or an Asda? I can't remember. But yeah, are there any good craft shops in Norwich that I should visit while I am there? I'm there for church business, so I haven't got a lot of time, but afternoons will be free. So let me know. Hi, Lindy in Australia. We've got a lot of Australian people today. That's uh, good. Um, Valerie, you're just back from holiday in Spain. Ooh, lovely. Yes, it is rather damp and cold now, isn't it, in comparison to Spain? Because I know Spain had it really hot, didn't they? Really, really, really hot. Um, Shelley, you finished off some of your in progress cards at the weekend well that's all right at least you that's good that's good at least that, that clears it out because those in progress cards mount up on your desk and they never get finished well they don't in my house <laughs> i've got a whole pile just off there that need sorting out and uh yeah not good not good 
So, yes, let's do some more sticky. Another two pieces to stick down, and then we can stick them onto the panels. Oh, almost stuck that in the wrong place then. Dear me. Right, let's stick this down. Stick this down. There we go. That's that one. One more to go. And then we are done. Hurrah! So I had great fun cutting all these pieces out. Yes, Debbie, it's always good to just take that little bit. Take the little bit, bend it over. With red tape, it's a little bit more tricky. But um, it's definitely better because you can get it lined up at the bottom where it's not um, sticky. And then when you're happy where it is, you then stick the top bit and then just peel the, peel the rest off. Right, that's those. So let's go ahead and stick those down. So I've got to go. I should have taped them all up and I haven't. So I'm going to have to do that now. Um, sweet pea, hello from Massachusetts. That's all right, you're not that late, don't worry. You're not that late. I'm just showing off the new burgundy blossom papers, and then we've just made a start on the card. I'll show you in a minute. Um, oh, cool, your cousin's about to take a church in Norwich, she's coming from South Africa. Wow, fabulous! Our church used to be on Deerham Road, on the corner of Deerham Road and Midland Road, I think it was. I think it's the middle of road. Um, but now it's moved up to Paddock Street into the industrial estate. So that's where our church. Oh, Assembly of God. Ah, cool. AOG. Yeah, AOG. Cool. Yeah, similar kind of style to us then. We're a Pentecostal. Pentecostal church. Very lively. So we've got, um, we've just moved building. Because we were in the, it's like, a, it's actual church building on Deerham Road. Um, but it used to get very hot in the summer whenever we had like a we've got like a little mini conference type thing with all the churches from that have been sent from the Norwich church um, they're all coming back kind of thing and meeting up and having a little conference and uh, it used to get really hot in that building and also we got to a point where we just couldn't fit everybody in like it was just getting a bit too busy um, and so that's why they moved building so last year was the first conference, I think, in that building. A community centre. Okay, yeah, quite often you start as a starting community. We've got other, we've got churches around the UK that are in community centres and schools and all sorts of different buildings. You just have to go with what you can get, don't you, really? But yeah, that's cool. Nice. Um, in Taverham. Okay, is that, how far out from the centre is that? I'm going to be staying on, I'm staying on Earlham Road. Um, sort of in a straight line from Deerham down to er Earlham Road. I'm on the corner of Earlham Road and another road. So that's where I'm going to be staying. Uh, Tavern Garden Centre. The range and the works. Oh, yeah. Is the works any good in the centre? I don't really go in the centre that much. I have to walk. Last time, last year I did go in. I got one of them little electric scooter things because I had a um, too good to go um, thing for the pretzel place. Is it Auntie Anne's, I think it was called? So we went and got some cheap pretzels at the end of the day that they were gonna chuck out for no, you know, hardly any money at all. Because that Too Good To Go app is very good. In fact, yeah, if any of you want to try it, do. I don't get commission for saying that, I just find it quite useful. <laughs> it's called Too Good Food To Go. And um, yeah, basically to avoid food waste, the, um, various different establishments and it's all over the world it's not just in the uk so america probably does it i know in europe they definitely do it because i remember doing it in switzerland um and germany i'm pretty sure has too good to go so i'm pretty sure probably america might do it as well but um yeah oh sally <laughs> wow tavern was worse churches as well no way um lindy you're making a card for your son's 30th birthday casing Santa's briefcase. Ah, oh, okay. One side will depict his work life. His hobby's hobby nice. That sounds good. That sounds very good. That sounds very good. This 75p. Hello, the crafty visage. 
That's also a good username. I like a good username. Hello, hello. Good to have you with us. Just sticking bits of tape on the back of my panels at the moment. Don't mind me. So, yeah. There will be a tutorial for this video. For this, this video. There will be a tutorial for this card coming along soon. At some point. So if you don't want to watch a live stream then. Or you miss or you have to go to bed or whatever. Then don't worry. There will be a tutorial. Right. I'm going to go ahead now and stick these on to my card. Now one thing I would bear in mind. Which I haven't bared in mind. Um, is don't go too thick with your layers. Because you are going to. Oh that goes there. Cool. Because you are going to end up otherwise with very thick pieces of card so my mirror is probably a bit too thick I would say I mean I want to go too flimsy as I said in the beginning because otherwise you need it to be you know holding up but um yeah you do end up with quite a lot of wadge otherwise let's do this one next because that is actually the next one and matches up which is good hopefully the other side will be just as appeasing but we'll see we will see Right, let's stick this one down. Stick this one down. There we go. That's that one. And that one. Right. That's that side done. And then let's see. Do these two? Oh, look, they do. Fantastic. I love it when a plan comes together. Right, let's stick these ones down. Oh, my husband's back. Just heard him at the door. He may well come in, you never know. Right, so stick these down. Oops. Uh, 14 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. 14 minutes isn't too bad. I have the car, so. Is there a range near you, Kerry? Or not? I'm not sure where the range is, actually. Sorry, Sweet Pea, I shall show you. It's called a floating screen card, and it's 6x6, and it's one that Jam B Cards came up with. So I will show you a picture of it. So that's that. Not a picture, I will show you it. <laughs> So this is it, it's six by six, you open it up and then you've got a little thing there and it stands on your desk like that. Uh, and really you could change it up if you wanted to. You could have a um, you could have a circular in the side there, you could like a circular card as long as you can open it up. You could do a hexagonal card in the middle there. You could do all sorts, if you want to. So yeah, that's what we're making today. So that's what we're doing, nice and easy. So that's that and that that. So that's that. And then these two need to go on the front. Okay. And we will make sure. Yeah, we'll go with that, I think, because that kind of fits together. Let's stick these on the front. Right, that one goes over here. So you don't really need to stick any on the front. If you don't want to, I just thought because you kind of have to close it to stick it in the envelope, you may as well decorate those front panels and makes it a bit more finished then. So let's just do this here. So that's that one, and then we're going to do the same here. Right, stick this one down. There we go. Right, so that is going on there like that. Almost there. Hall Road will be closer to where you'll be staying. 2.3 miles. There's always about a long water retail park. Okay, cool. I've got the car to carry, so it's not, it's not too bad. I can always meet you at the range. We could have a craft shop. That would be interesting. That would be cool. Um, 
Right, so then your little four by four card blanks, top folding, you need a piece of mat that is three and three quarter by three and three quarter and a piece of pattern that's three and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that onto there and then stick the whole thing onto the front there. Obviously make sure if you've got a right way up paper, then you have it um, the right way up for your top folding card. Just bear that in mind. I've got a whole heap of tape liner here that's taking over my desk which we'll have to get rid of it in a moment oh i should have done the other ones sorry so a little tip whenever i do a bit in the middle there i always try and make sure i do the corners that it points to because i find that's just a little bit easier for sticking it down so just another little tip okay there we go right so we want it that way up and then let's get the non-sticky corners down Like that. And then that side. There we go. And then we need to stick it on the front of the card. Yeah, it's a nice easy card, Sweet Pea. We thought we'd go easy. With it being late at night for me, I didn't want anything too taxing. Because I'm not getting a lot of sleep at the moment. <laughs> With it being school holidays. Right, there's that, there's that, and one across the middle. One across the middle. And then, there we go. Right, let's stick this one down. So I'm going to do another Christmas pack next week and then I think the week after that I might do a non-Christmassy one again. Um, I'm wondering whether I should flip between kind of autumn, summer and Christmas and <laughs> just kind of rotate because I'm very aware of not everyone wants to be doing autumn and Christmas because we are very much in the summer. Well, here we are in the summer. Mind you see, not all of we are, are we? Because you lot Australia, not you in winter. So... But then beach for you is still winter, isn't it? So I don't know. Oh, I've got all my bits. All my bits of tape liner. Uh, hi, Vicky. Don't worry, Vicky. I know it's very early in the morning for you, so don't worry. Hi, Cheryl. You're cooking dinner. Cool. Fabulous. Right. So this is where we need to bring our school ball back in. Now you don't need to bring a school ball back in, but it is helpful. And you will see why. So this is um, top folding, and then you've got your two pieces. So what you, you can do is if you lay this on, it's best to lay it flat because you're not going to worry about it flipping up. Take this, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure it's about an inch down, roughly, and you want to make sure it's about an inch over. So obviously that's four inches. So there's three inches, there's the edge. So I want to make sure, and because of the grooves, I can check that it's straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it this way, get it lined up again where it needs to be. And then I'm just gonna draw a line on the back in pencil here and here. So I know where my tape goes and I'm going to put on, now I think I'm going to go with wet glue, just I've got a bit of time to manoeuvre it. Um, Kerry, you can meet me at Hall Road one. Okay, cool. You've not been in that one? Yeah, nice. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we'll have to try and sort that out. It'll be in an afternoon. Um, I just need to find out when. Um... But I've got your email, haven't I? So that's helpful. So I can always email you and sort it out. So that's good. Right, let's put this on now. And uh, an inch down, roughly. About there. About there. Let's get it straight. There we go. So it's roughly an inch down, roughly an inch up. I'm looking at these lines here so I can tell. And then it's an inch in. So you want an inch down, an inch in. And I've just stuck that down. And then let's just flip that over. Yep, that's fine. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to turn it round. 
and I'm also going to turn that round so it's upside down, both of them upside down and we're going to do the same again so that's there now this time, because this is already stuck you've got this to line up against which is helpful so at least you can kind of just move it you haven't got to worry about the up and down bit so, um, right so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same again I'm going to flip this over line this up and actually you want to line this edge up with the six inches there that should finish at four and then we want to just put a little line on here and on here and add our glue and then let's have, there we go put that on there right Cripster you're Sally Ann aren't you I'm, I will remember one of these one of these weeks I will remember tell me if I got it right hopefully I have Okay, so then this is gluey, so I just need to be careful. I don't want to get glue on my scoreboard. So I'm just going to come in at an angle, get that into the six inches there, and then stick that down. And I'm actually going to just take it up quickly. I'm going to flip it over just to make sure I'm not getting glue on my scoreboard. Yes, I got it right. Hooray. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> you didn't realise it was alive. No, it was a bit lastminute.com because I was in two minds. Because I'm going away tomorrow, I was in two minds of whether it was going to happen or not. Um, but yeah, I decided it was. Right, so that is that. And I've managed to get it all the right way up. Hurrah. So there we go. So that's your card. Let's just make sure we're not moving it at all. Oh, I'm not quite straight, am I? Oh, that's all right. I can move this. Good. Just make sure before you, um, if you're using wet glue, just make sure you've definitely got it sort of straight. Because one of these was wonky then. Right, let's just leave that off there and let that um, dry for a second. Yeah, there we go. Um, right, who've we got? Uh, Joe, it's been hot everywhere. Oh yeah, because in Spain it has, hasn't it? it? Hasn't been cold. It hasn't been hot here in England. <laughs> it's freezing. Um, thank you, Sunny Ann. Um, oh wow, high nineties. Cool, that is hot. Right, so for the front, I thought I'd use this Big Birthday Wishes die, which is again from Coco Rosa Studio. Don't forget my code, ICE20, gets you 20% off. Um, yeah, but I'm just using the Birthday Wishes part. So I'm using some Paper Direct Sparkle Print, and I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Iced Pearl or something like that anyway. So I'm just going to take... Now, what I really want to do is I really want the letters to stay in the die. Did you buy it? Oh, good, Sally Ann. I'm glad. It's really good. It's a nice die. I probably won't use the big very often, but the Birthday Wishes font is perfect. It's really good. So I have actually stuck, as you can probably see, I've stuck double-sided tape on the back of the card and then run it through the die-cutting machine. So now all my letters are sticky. <laughs> but too sticky. And so... Ooh, uh, uh, come on. Oh, I'll deal with you in a minute. Um, so now I'm just trying to get them to stay in the die and then I can just place the die down and all the all the you know the um, spacings will be right that's the plan anyway whether it'll work like that I don't know we will see let's just pick that up we don't want that there move this down that car that's it I'll pick one there we go. Oh, the S. The S is being difficult. And the A. Okay. Let's just get these on. Oh, no. Come on. Nope. <laughs> oh, one I really wanted it to. The other way you could do it is just cut out another one. Not with a sticky back. There we go. Uh, and then just place them in. That's the other way you can do it. There we go. That's that one. I just need to get the S in. One little S. In we go. We just need to go in there. There we go. And the A. Without the middle bit. Out we come. Mr. A. There we go. There we go. And you can go in there. Ooh. There we go. Right, so we just need to take out the R. 
the middle of the R. It is a wonderful sized die, yes, absolutely. Um, you're in Florida, oh wow. Ooh. Yeah, I know Sue's quite well. <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, I don't know if I have either. Come on, that you come. there we go, there's one. It just, otherwise, the other alternative is you end up having to stick it with glue, and I definitely don't have the patience for that right now. So this is the lesser of two evils as far as I'm concerned. Oh, gosh, okay. Be nice if you didn't stick to my finger there. Come on. There we go. In you go. That's it. No, nope. come on. This is where we start talking to our dies. Right, I think that's all okay. So now we need to try and... F is there anything going to fall off? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, is there anything going to fall off? Yes, they are. Okay, you know what? We're just going to go and stick it down as it is. Oh, no, another one's fallen off. So A, so all the ones that wouldn't go in the first place and they're wanting to fall out. Okay, any more? H, okay, anything else? Well, I'm just going to stick them in and then we'll just have to piece them back on again. Let's put that, that one there, like that. We'll stick the well-behaved ones in, and we'll come back for the rebels in a minute. I'm going to use my slightly blunter um, pokey tool. So it won't make an actual, it'll make an indent, but it won't make a hole in my letters. There we go, I haven't got an A, so we won't poke the A. I've got one stuck to my finger. I've got one threatening to stick themselves to the sides of my card. Um, would it have been easy to keep it outside and put the card over it? Well, it would be, Sue's. However, if you do that, you don't know where you're sticking it. So that's the only problem. Yes, masking tape probably would have worked as well. However, the masking tape that I have is a little bit too high tack. So I'm just going to go with this. Oh, it doesn't stand out as well as I was hoping it to. But anyway, never mind. Never mind. So now I'm just going to guess where these fit. And hopefully my head's not going to get in the way. Um, right, there's a W. Bosh. That's going to go about there. So I've got enough letters in. And with the thing underneath it, should hopefully be able to kind of line them up in the right places. There we go. And then we've got an E. Come on, Mr. Letter. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And then the S. Oh. Well, don't worry, Sally. Yeah, it is. It's late. It's late here as well. Almost finished anyway. In fact, we are pretty much finished. Oh, there we go. That's not bad. Yeah, it's a shame it's it doesn't stand out as much as I wanted to. I was thinking about using the um. Mm, I was thinking about using the uh, Miri. Actually, on the on the on the camera, it looks really. Good. It actually stands out really well on the camera, but in real life, it kind of fades a little bit. I'll see how it is in the morning. It might just be the light. Yeah, it doesn't stand out as much as I wanted it to. But anyway, I might end up putting a darker one on top. But yeah, so that's basically it. And then obviously you've got space for you to put your message in the middle and stamp a greeting. And then you can just add in whatever you want. So you can add some extra embellishments on the outside if you want to. Um, I haven't got anything to embellish with, I don't think, apart from maybe some... I could put some sequins on here, maybe. I need to look this flat. I don't think it's going to cause any problems. Uh, what have I got in the way of sequins? No, I haven't really got anything. Not to hand, that's easy. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy to do. Yeah, I liked it. I always like Jambi's cards. And obviously when you display it, you can have it opened out like that, so you can really see all the inside. This just pops forward a little bit, which is nice. So, yeah, it kind of pops forward a little bit, which is cool. And then obviously you've got a little bit of pattern on the front, just so that when they open it, you know, got a bit of interest. 
so there you go that is my card for this evening so um yeah don't forget to check out my etsy shop um oh this is another one as well using that same die i have done a this card didn't turn out quite how i wanted it to i should have made the middle panel um smaller but um i thought i might as well show you so this is that big birthday wishes die again um and i'm going to turn off my light uh, let me just do that quickly oh the camera's shaking sorry but yeah so on this i've put little lights in it and i have done a i have done a, a thing for it a tutorial for it but um yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you will. Oh, am I still swinging? No, I'm not swinging anymore. But yeah, let me see if I can just... Yeah, you can sort of see it. So these are rice lights. Now on, on the camera, it looks like blues. But in real life and on the picture, when I do it, you'll see I've got like greens, pinks, blues, oranges, all different colours all inside. So it's just a little light up. But I really wanted to... Um, let me switch my light back on again. I really wanted to, um, to, to, I should have made the panels just slightly smaller so you can see all of this. I've actually done different colours of funky foam in the middle there so you can see it. Oh, that's better. With the light on, you can see the colours better. But yeah, it's um, rice lights. And I got them from Amazon quite a few years ago. Um, so Vicky, yeah, there is actually a, um, there's actually a tutorial for this. I've done it. I filmed it. That's why I've got this card in my hand. <laughs> It was and it's a top folding card um so yeah there's a tutorial for this and i, I need to try and find on amazon some more rice lights because the my original people who i got them from on amazon i don't think they still do them i'm not sure um but yeah but they're powered by two of those watch batteries so if you you can actually do them in such a way instead of sticking it in i mean the way this is at the moment you could actually prize that out because it's right on the corner um so you could potentially maybe do it so it kind of slots in and then the person can just you know take it out and change the batteries if they want to i did a card similar to this and there's a video for it actually on my channel somewhere for christmas um and okay karen happy enjoy your dinner um yeah i did it for christmas and i gave it to my mother-in-law and she gets it out every christmas and puts it on her um mantelpiece and i think it's still working as far as i know but yeah, I would definitely make this front panel a bit smaller next time I do it. But yeah, it's a nice, um, it's a nice, you know, it's quite, an, I just like having the lights on it, it's just a bit different. They don't flash, they're just on, but I'm just thinking, especially for a bloke or a teenager, they probably quite enjoy having a light up card. So yeah, so that's one coming up, but that's just another way of using that die. And I say also in the video, if you wanted to, you could put acetate behind and have a shaker card, or you could have some, you know, like I just have this funky, this funky um, card that I've got behind. That could just be straight behind it with no, you know, no vellum, no nothing. So that could also work. So yeah, so anyway, so that's just a little side note there, just because I use this die. Um, so yeah, Ice 20, get yourself 20% off um, <laughs> on Coco Rose Studio. Little plug there. Right. I am going to go to bed because it's now quarter to 11. When will it be up? I don't know, Sally Ann. I don't know. And the reason I don't know is because I've got about six videos ready to be edited, uploaded, etc. But I'm trying to navigate what to do when because of the different promotions and the commissions involved and the papers involved. And it's just all a bit... Bleh. So I'm just kind of trying to navigate my way because I've got another in love art shop order on its way which potentially will come either next week or the week after and that starts a whole new set of videos I've literally only just finished filming the video for the Coca Rosa craft haul which will be coming up on Sunday Friday Friday yeah I think this Friday is the Coca Rosa studio craft haul video and then Sunday is another DRK Maker Team video. And then I've got, because I had like eight dies. I think I had eight dies from Coco Rosa. So, um, night Debbie. Um, yeah, I think I had like, and night Shelley as well. Um, I think I had eight dies. So that's eight videos because I had to make eight cards. <laughs> 
so yeah and then in love art shop i've got another what seven videos seven dies something like that anyway but yeah it'll be coming soon i don't know when it'll come up over the next few weeks and also because i'm trying to where i'm filming videos i'm trying to make them so that then it covers the whole of the summer holidays so then i haven't got to be because at the moment i'm trying to do work and be a mum and it's very difficult to do that at the same time so yeah <laughs> right anyway i'm going to take you off the ceiling so you can have a bit of a look a closer look at those and uh, yeah i'm going to poodle off kerry i may well see you um because i'm only in norwich for we're going up tomorrow afternoon and then thursday friday we're back saturday so it'll be thursday or friday but um yeah we'll see i'll try and plug it if i can i would like to it'd be nice but uh, yeah, we will have to see what time allows. Because I know I've got some friends who want to catch up as well. So yeah, but we'll try and do something if we can. Anywho, right, I'm going to say nighty night and I will see you next week. Now next week, it might be during the day or it might be in the evening. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, we'll see. I will let you know as soon as I know. Okie doke. See you soon, everybody. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. I don't know.